I'm sure that you've all heard that this whole event starts with a phone call uh, at 5 o'clock in the morning, and there's this friendly voice at the end saying, uh, you have just won the Nobel Prize. Uh, ho, ho. <laughs> but actually, it's a great honor to be awarded the Nobel Prize. And it's a wonderful experience for my wife, Betty, and me. Uh, we received congratulations by email, phone, and post, many from old friends we had not seen for some morning. time. So good morning, Dr. Boyle, and good morning, Mrs. Boyle. Thank Life you is pretty quiet here. in Wallace, Nova Scotia. I haven't had my morning cup of coffee yet. But on this day, there's reason to we be excited. We are very proud today of an achievement by one of our friends and neighbors. The image that you see on the TV screen of both of us is being produced by this small CCD camera, which is directly in front of us. I just have a lovely feeling all over my body saying, wow, this is really quite exciting, but is it real? George and I spent a great deal of time thinking and dreaming about possible new electronic devices. We considered both new materials and new structures. We began drawing a diagram, and before it was finished, we knew we had something startlingly new. Sometime later, Jim Early, who was the late director of the Fairchild Semiconductor, said, the transistor worked with the sense of sound, and the CCD worked with the sense of sight. another chapter is added to the history of science and culture. Since Wilhelm Conrad Röntgen received the first physics prize, around 800 Nobel Prizes have been awarded in physics, chemistry, physiology or medicine, literature and peace. The thing I guess I wanted to emphasize was that the charge couple device is really still growing and, um, and the, I think the satisfaction is that it started off as uh, basic research, but as time goes on, it's finding a broader and broader applications. Finally, I've given you a little outline as to how things got started, but actually I left out perhaps the most important, important phase of the starting altogether. And that's in my education, um, in the very earliest stage before I went to school. Because my parents lived in northern Quebec. There was a no school system there. And my mother was not particularly trained as a teacher, but she decided that she would just try and see what she could do. And indeed, it was a pretty good education because she taught me there first a little bit of calculus for the mathematics, a little bit of history, Egyptian history. And this formed a real strong background. And she felt that I probably was knowing all that was worth knowing at that time. She felt totally confident that she had done a, just a superb job of teaching me. And in fact, you know, you know, looking back, here I am, and that's what happened.
Professor Carl, Dr. Boyle, Dr. Smith. You have been awarded the 2009 Nobel Prize in Physics. On behalf of the Royal Swedish Academy of Sciences, it is my privilege and pleasure to convey to you the warmest congratulations for your outstanding work. I now ask you to step forward to receive your Nobel Prizes from the hands of His Majesty the King.